In this video, I want to show you how you can still use Canvas for grades if you want students to submit papers to you in class. So let's say you're teaching a face-to-face -face class and you want your students to submit their work to you in class and not through Canvas. You can still use Canvas for, for getting grades back to them. And here's how you would do that. So I'm in a Canvas course. I'm looking at the assignments tool. I have changed the name of the assignment group with this edit menu or the options menu and edit. I've changed it to be in class writing activities. You can change it to be anything you want. I think it's nice for it to be indicative of what the thing actually is. So I changed it there. Um, then I went in and I've created five so far assignments. So these are all on paper assignments. Here's how to do that. Use the add assignment button and it's going to ask you for the title of the assignment. It's going to ask you for a description in there. I'm going to put that this will be completed during class. Of course, add any description that you want for that assignment. Then when you scroll down, you'll see that the you can add the points for that assignment. You can make sure that it's going into that assignment group that you want it to go into. And for your submission type, here's where you can decide on paper. So rather than online through Canvas, choose on paper. We scroll all the way to the bottom. We hit save and publish at the bottom. And now I should see that sixth assignment has been published. When I go to assignments, I'll see it in that list there. So that's the same process that I went through for each one of those assignments. Once I've got those all created, let's go see now what that looks like from the student preview. So if I go to the home, go student preview over here on the right, I can go into assignments. And sure enough, I see all the in-class writing assignments. Note that you can students can sort these by date or by type. So when I sort it by type, I can see that these are all the in-class writing assignments and I can go into one of these. Notice that students don't have the big blue submit assignment button on these ones because they're being submitted in class. It even says here submitting on paper. So that's what it looks like from the student perspective. Let's switch back now. I'm going to leave student view. And let's say now that we just had our 831 class and I'm ready to enter grades for the work that they've submitted to me as the teacher. I go to grades and I do see that student preview student, test student in my grade book. I'm ready to put in grades. I'm going to hover my mouse over that right corner and I get that little button to pop up. I'm going to click on that and I recommend doing your grading in SpeedGrader. So when you click on SpeedGrader, it's going to open up another tab. Now it tells me because this student did not submit the assignment in Canvas, it's not giving me any preview of it here. It's also not giving me any of the annotation commenting tools for the assignments. We can't use those if students are submitting it in class, but I can still give the student a grade and add my comments here as well. So I can do text comments, I can attach a file, do a media, media comment or um, speech to text recognition in my assignment comments as well. So then I hit submit and those grades should now be available to our test student. So let's go over to test student. I'll close this tab and here's something that was scary to me the first time I saw it. If you've just done a whole lot of grading, it's very scary to come back and see this blank cursor for the item that I just graded for that student. So make sure that you hit this refresh button in your browser and that is what's going to pull up the grade and um, refresh. You should see all the grades pop in that you just now spent all that time going through grading. So hopefully that doesn't scare you as much as it scared me. Um, Okay, so now let's go back to our student view. So we're going to go back to the home page. Go to student view. 
Okay, so when we go over to grades, we see now as the student, we have a new grade there waiting for us. We can click on that. Here's the new grade for brainstorming activity. I got a 10 out of 10. And here's the icon that indicates that comments for that grade were submitted. So I can click on that to open up the grading comments and to read the comments, the feedback from my teacher. So there you go. That's how to use Canvas for grades if you still want students to submit papers to you in class. Thanks for watching.